Hello everyone, um, I'm Julie, for those of you that don't know me already, I'm a, a yoga, meditation and mindfulness teacher and I'm going to be doing um, a series of kind of online yoga classes and some little brief kind of uh, exercises for us to do at these times, calling it Namaste Home. So um, it can, it's very t trying times for us all. Uh, we might already be people that suffer from anxiety, um, depression, stress, and of course at these times it escalates all of this for us. We're also, we might be somebody that is usually very calm, very collected, takes things in our stride, and you might find that even though you are usually okay, that you're still going through some stuff. And what can tend to happen is when we are tense and stressed, we uh, don't breathe properly. So I'm going to simply remind us how to breathe. And that's all it is, reminding us. So first of all, I'm going to loosen ourselves up a little bit. So let's just do some very simple jaw loosening exercises. It's just kind of holding onto your chin, kind of, kind of shake it up a bit. My chin doesn't move very easily. Uh, it, I do hold a bit of tension in my jaw myself, but uh, trying to loosen that, just uh, open, stretch your mouth as wide as you can. Um, when you do clench your jaw, you hold your jaw tightly, it can carry up into your head, so you can even get some tension here and get tension headaches, so loosening our jaw is a good way of relieving this. It's not until that we, we relax, we, we can feel it becomes very tender here. We know when we've been tense. Let's loosen our shoulders up as well. So big breath in and then breathe out with a And again, big breath in, scrunch your shoulders up to your ears. Breathe out with a And one more, big breath in. Scrunch your shoulders up, breathe out with a Good, okay. So I'm going to remind us how to breathe. When we are feeling stressed, we breathe shallowly from the chest. Um, this then triggers a whole stress response in the body. It can affect our stomach, it can affect our, our whole body, our whole system, give us headaches, makes us overthink. And um, we might even hold our breath when we're feeling uh, stressed, tense, anxious. If you're somebody that suffers from uh, depression long term, this may be because you have been continually stressed and tense and anxious and it's just become the norm. So remembering how to breathe is a good way to counteract this. It's particularly good for those that suffer from these conditions but it's good for everybody. Um, spending a lot of time at our desks, working at computers from home. So taking a couple of minutes out each day is uh, a good reminder and a good way to kind of connect and touch in with ourselves. And it's also a precursor to meditations, but I'll, I'll do more of that another time. So how we sit. Sitting, first of all, sitting down with your legs kind of in a triangular position so your knees are, are parted tucking that tailbone in so you're nice and straight in your spine preferably with the knees below the hips if you can and as straight in or back as you can be to allow that breath to flow up and down chin is down and back a little as if you've got a soft rubber ball beneath your chin so you're nice and straight in your neck there so chin can wander up when we're overthinking, when we're stressed, and this then triggers further stress response. Um, bringing the chin down too much, this is actually a bander that's good for alleviating breathing difficulties, but that's not what we want at the moment. We just want the chin down and back a little, so we're nice and straight. Bring our hands into this kind of position, so you bring the soft bit, the fleshy bit of the thumbs together and then just wrap one hand over the other, bringing them into our lap, just resting a little bit there on our belly as well. So we become aware of the stomach, of the belly. Okay, 
So relaxing our jaw, so parting the teeth a little, keeping the lips together and rest the tongue into the roof of the mouth. Now this helps to relax the jaw, so you can't hold it tense, your teeth are not clenched. Also, there is a pressure point in the roof of the mouth that triggers a calm response. So if you are feeling particularly anxious, you can push the tongue up into the roof of the mouth and you do feel instantly calmer. So just resting it softly there, flat in the roof of the mouth, lips together. Eyes can be cast downwards, keeping them open. You close your eyes, still looking as if you're looking downwards, looking into the space behind your closed eyelids, looking down the bridge of your nose. So it's not going cross-eyed to look at your nose, but looking down at that angle. And breathe in through your nose if you can, through your mouth if you have to. Take a pause for a second or two and breathe out slowly through your nose or through your mouth. Just noticing now where you are breathing from. You may find that you are still breathing from your chest. We don't want to force the breath. We want the breath to be a natural rise and fall. Keeping our awareness on the breath keeping our awareness on the feelings and sensations in the body. And what we can do is just bring our awareness to our belly, to our stomach area. So again, we're not forcing the breath, but we're feeling it naturally rise and fall. And gradually, we begin to be aware that we are breathing from our stomach, from our belly. Slow breathing slows down the brain waves. So we go from the busy beta brain waves to the gentle zen-like alpha brain waves. Slows the heart rate, lowers blood pressure. And just reminding ourselves that this is how we breathe. Creating good breathing habits. And if we can do this at certain points throughout the day, if we're feeling stressed or anxious, we just want to take a, a moment or two to come back to ourselves. Just take a couple of minutes throughout the day to come back to your breath. And it's as simple as that. If all you do today is breathe, then that is enough. Thank you. Namaste.